All right, hey, welcome to my BattleBots 2023 World Championship 7 bracket predictions. Um, I kind of like how the bracket is set up this year, and you can really tell that they uh, wanted to make some fun matchups first and then did the seeding. Some people don't like that. Personally, I don't, I'm not really opposed to it, but I can see both ways there. Um, I enjoyed that they gave a stat breakdown of the top four bots. It really does a good job of justifying those top seeds. Um, it is unfortunate that a couple of 2-2 bots got left out of the tournament, but, you know, given their performances during the regular season, I can definitely see why they got left out for more entertaining and competitive 1-3 bots. Uh, you know, it was bound to happen, nothing we can do about it now. All we can do is get right into the predictions. I'm gonna go by Quadrant, starting with 1, working my way all the way down to 4. So starting with this first fight, Minotaur vs. Fusion. Uh, unfortunately for Fusion, the season ends here. Um, I can see the Waiachi gang giving Minotaur a hard time for about a minute, but past that, Minotaur shouldn't have any issues dominating the control fight, even if both weapons, or I guess all three weapons, go down. Those is going to be Minotaur. Switchback versus Malice. Um, I've been a Malice believer ever since day one, and I think it has a good chance against Switchback. David Lau is a better driver than Greg Nidell, and Malice is a better controlled bot than Switchback. So, Malice. Sawblaze versus Blip. You know, I'm actually going to take the upset on this one. Aaron Hill outdrove Jameson Go in their previous match when they fought Tantrum, and given the two bots similar uh, front geometry, you know, Blip and Tantrum, I think Blip can actually take this one. Also, there's not much that Sawblaze's weapon can do to Blip's very heavy armor. Especially on the top, it's all slanted, nothing for it to really dig into, unlike uh, when Sawblaze fought Minotaur a while back. So this one's actually going to go to Blip. Cobalt versus Monsoon. Uh, Cobalt has more effective forks, so I think they take this one. Honestly, in this quadrant, this fight might be the closest. There's definitely an argument to be made for Monsoon. You know, they've got better control, they're uh, reversible, invertible, but Cobalt's got such a devastating weapon, Monsoon won't be able to take it out with just one hit. And Cobalt, I think they will. And then Minotaur versus Malice. You know, I love Malice, but this fight probably won't be very close. Uh, Malice just doesn't have the muscle or control to outgun Minotaur, and given the entire bracket, Minotaur has the easiest path to the semifinals. And then Blip versus Cobalt. Blip also takes this one. Um, they've got plenty of wedgelets and plenty of ground game, plus superior driving. One flip is all they need, and co as Cobalt can't really self-right if it gets stuck on its back. Um, I suspect they're gonna get more than just a couple of flips in, so, Blip Belieber. And then Minotaur versus Blip. Unlike Cobalt, Minotaur can handle being flipped and get back into a fight. Um, and unlike Sawblaze, they've beaten Tantrum, and they've shown that they can tear up even Seems Reasonable's legendary armor. Uh, I don't think this fight will be very close, and I think Minotaur is going to dominate this one pretty well. Alright, now for the second quadrant. Riptide versus Shattered. Uh, I don't expect this fight to go any differently than their fight last year. Uh, Riptide's got a very very set game plan, they know what they're doing. Uh, Shatter might have a chance to chain swipe or break the weapon using the Mary special, but Riptide's offense is going to be a little just too much for Shatter to handle. So, Riptide. Let's change the color here. This, this, this uh, quadrant will be blue. Lucky Kanucky versus Hypershock. Uh, you know, Lucky and Hypershock, they're really a story of two opposite seasons. Lucky really took advantage of an easier regular season, while Hypershock put in work with, in my opinion, the most difficult schedule of the entire cast. In the end, I expect Hypershock to dominate the fight and tear up Lucky around the sides. Uh, you know, Matt Olson, he's a good driver, but Will Bales is better. Sorry. Endgame versus Tantrum. What? All I have written down here is Endgame wins because they are Endgame. <laughs> Uh, Copperhead versus Rotator. I think, I actually think Copperhead is going to take this one. Uh, they've got too much armor, their Brazilian style wheels are tough, their weapon's just too robust for a bot like Rotator to take it. Alright, Riptide versus Hypershock. Uh, this is going to be a real test for Team Break32. 
Hypershock is too agile, and they're definitely able to bounce back after a hit. This fight's going to be really, really close, and it'll probably come down to whoever gets the first hit. But given that they need to get that first hit, I'm going to give it to Hypershock. Endgame versus Copperhead. Um, some people say might say that this fight's going to go similarly to Endgame versus Copperhead, or end, yeah, Endgame versus Copperhead, Endgame versus Minotaur, but. Minotaur has got much better driving, and if you really rewatch that fight, Endgame versus Minotaur, um, the control was really the difference. Copperhead just isn't able to outdrive Endgame in the same way that Minotaur will, and I think that was shown pretty well in their fight with Ripperoni. So this one's going to go to Endgame. Witch Doctor versus or no wait what are we doing hypershock versus endgame yeah oh gosh this fight is i don't think this is going to be close endgames fought hypershock before they're absolutely primed to win this quadrant hypershock just doesn't have the tools it needs to take out endgame they're fast but uh barker and maybe are very accurate with their driving and they always keep the front end pointed there towards their opponent which is something that hypershock cannot afford to have so this one's going to go to endgame all right, Quadrant 3, Witch Doctor versus Jackpot. Jackpot's fallen off a little bit this year, but like Kenny said, you should never underestimate them. They're definitely still a threat, but Witch Doctor's Witch Doctor, you know. They're the two-time runner-up. They're the uh, giant bolt uh, winner from Remars a couple years ago. Yeah, so I don't expect Jackpot to upset the number three seed. Uh, this Quadrant can be green. Lockjaw versus Bloodsport. All right. Call me crazy, but I think Bloodsport can win this. If they can get their drive working at 100%, they're the most maneuverable horizontal in the entire competition. I know that they got dominated by Beta and they got dominated by Lockjaw in a bounty tournament, uh, but Lockjaw's exposed wheels give Bloodsport a huge target, and Bloodsport's weapon can do some real damage even through Lockjaw's rear wedge. Huge versus Scorpios. Okay, seriously, what is up with Huge never fighting four-wheel drive verts? In their 27 career fights, only three have been against standard verts. Four if you count uppercut, uh, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But either way, Huge can probably pretty easily dominate this fight. All it needs is one solid shot to the, um, to the weapon arm or the weapon chain to blow it up. And... Scorpios' driving hasn't necessarily even been that great this year, and that's why they've got such a low seed. Um, yeah, Huge gets this one. What? Is... All right, Claw Viper versus Mad Catter. I actually like Claw Viper in this fight. I can see it going pretty similarly to their fight with Rebot. Mad Catter is not nearly as fast as Hypershock. Uh, Kevin Milcheski will have to be absolutely perfect to win this fight. Um, and but I still think that he can take it. Witch Doctor versus Bloodsport. So Witch Doctor's consistency just can't be overstated, and that's going to come into play in a big way in this fight versus Bloodsport. The wedge is tough, the weapon hits hard, and the driving is just about as good as they come. The difference between Witch Doctor and Lockjaw is that consistency. Bloodsport's run unfortunately does end here. And then Huge versus Claw Viper. This fight's gonna be weird. Uh, Claw Viper definitely has the speed it needs to absorb a couple of hits from Huge, but I can't see it winning any damage points whatsoever against them. It'll probably last the whole three minutes, but Huge will win on damage. And if Claw Viper makes it there, I think Huge can win that one too. Or not Claw Viper. If Mad Catter makes it there, I think Huge would win that anyways. And then Witch Doctor versus Huge. Uh, can you believe that this is the first time Huge will be fighting a standard vertical spinner this year? Yeah, like, why? Uh, I think they can take it. Witch Doctor's got nothing to do real damage to them, and Huge can wear down their opponent throughout all three minutes, given that they've got those reliability issues all ironed out. It'll be a good fight. It'll be a good strong fight with big hits on both sides, but I have Huge coming out on top here. And now for the final quadrant. Hydra versus Death Roll. 
I think Hydra will win this one. They've got a legendary ground game, and Death Roll has none. The Aussies might be able to take advantage of this by maneuvering around to Hydra's soft side or rear, but Jake is just too accurate of a driver to allow that to happen. And I guess this one will be red. Uh, Beta versus Whiplash. Whiplash just. They just have more win conditions than Beta here. They've got the forks, they've got the spinner, they've got the lifter. Um, John Reed's a good driver, uh, but Beta really has to go for a KO here to win. Um, Whiplash's ability to dominate the fight just using the lifter, I think Team Fast Electric Robots got a lucky draw with this uh, first round matchup. 2 2 Whiplash. That'll be crazy. Quantum versus Ribot. Um, Ribot's fast, yeah, but Quantum's faster. They've got better driving. And that's really what separates uh, Quantum from a lot of other bots in the field. You know, you have good drivers like Lucky, um, Malice, uh, Cobalt, but then you've got great drivers like the Cooper Brothers, um, Mike Galately, uh, Jack Barker. And I think the Cooper Bros are definitely in that upper tier of driving, and they can take out Ribot kind of in the same way that Claw Viper did. Uh, then, Ripperoni versus Black Dragon. Ooh, this one's interesting. I think Ripperoni can win this. Black Dragon has never had the most effective forks as evidenced in their fight against Quantum, and Ripperoni has the maneuverability it needs to land some devastating shots. I see this going similarly to Ripperoni versus Copperhead, and so uh, I can definitely see it going either way though, but for the purposes of this video, Ripperoni. Hydra versus Whiplash. Unlike the last time these two fight, or unlike the last time these two fought, Hydra's weapon isn't going to be crippled this time around. Jake has a really great explanation on the Waiachi channel about like how little metal flakes were getting caught in the accumulator for the um, hydraulics and it messed it up. If you go back in time and watch Hydra's uh, clips throughout the course of season, I think five or six, they get progressively weaker throughout the year and that's not happening anymore. This fight will probably end up being a little bit underwhelming with both drivers driving way too carefully, but Hydra will end up with a few flips and win it on Judge's decision. Quantum versus Ripperoni. Uh, despite Ripperoni's massive weapon, I don't expect Quantum to be deterred whatsoever. However, there's not much for Quantum to bite down on. It's an awkward shape. The slanted right side or left side, whatever side, is going to be a huge advantage for Ripperoni. They've got the driving they need with Fred Moore. He's been uh, great on the sticks so far this year. Um, I think that it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. I think Ripperoni is going to get all the way to the quarterfinals. And then Hydra versus Ripperoni. Um, unlike its other opponents so far, Ripperoni's weird uh, geometry is not an advantage in this fight. Hydro is going to get it under them again and again and flip until something on the pizza bot breaks. It'll probably go similarly to Hydra's fight against Uppercut. I just don't see a good win condition for Ripperoni in this fight. Herda. Hydra. Oh my gosh. Can you tell I actually scripted things out this year? Like, last year I was just uh, <laughs> going off the cuff saying whatever came to my mind, but this year I've actually put together a script. I'm so well put together, guys, am and I? All right, time for the semifinals. Hydra versus Minotaur. Uh, the last time these two fought, it was Hydra's first season, and Minotaur picked apart their drive train. Uh, but since Jake has so much more time with driving and he's so much more experienced, he can absolutely keep the front end face towards his opponent. Minotaur probably won't break, but I would like to see it get flipped into the ceiling. That would be exciting. Hydra wins this one. Hydra, see that? All right. And then Endgame versus Huge. Endgame also doesn't have much to hit Huge with, and I expect Huge to dominate. Uh, it's going to dominate the fight the same way that they did Witch Doctor. It'll be a real back and forth, and Endgame will probably get a few huge flipping shots in, but Huge is always able to bounce back from those shots because its wheels are so durable. 
and I expect Endgame to come out of the fight just a little bit more damaged. This one's green. And then, I actually have... I swear I didn't plan this at the beginning, but Hydra vs. Huge being the championship match would just be so, so perfect. The first fight is what caused my YouTube channel to shake off in the first place, and this fight being the finals would probably be poetic in a way. It would feel a little weird, though, especially because Hydra would be using its vertical spinner setup designed specifically for a rematch with Huge. But I think Huge would be able to take a hit or two from it and then just come back in and destroy the weird vertical spinner with just a couple blows. I Yeah, I have Huge winning the entire bracket. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think Huge can win? I think it, basically anybody can win this bracket. I mean, you have Whiplash as the 20 seed. The bottom seed is Fusion, for crying out loud. This bracket is stacked. Uh, it, for, I do. I am a little bit disappointed that bots like Valkyrie, Mammoth were left out. But, you know, that's just... It's just the way it ha- it, it's, it's just the way it is sometimes. Um, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, see you next week when my bracket gets absolutely annihilated.